We're looking for potential microorganisms in our clean room. Um, we're going to do two types of sampling today. We're going to do what they call, what we call um, a viable sampling for bacterial matter. And then we're also going to do a, a viable sampling for uh, fungal mold spores. So we're doing two types of uh, collection of samples for different types of organisms in our clean room. What I have here is a, what they call an impactor. Uh, impacting sampling device. Basically what it does is you put a petri dish with a medium on it in the impactor and the, and the vacuum pump draws air into the impactor and draws air on top of the auger uh, medium on the plate. I'm going to start with a sample uh, plate for the uh, bacterial uh, uh, sample collection. So what I'm going to do is sanitize my hands 70% isopropyl alcohol. I have the uh, impactor in a location according to a uh, sampling location map that I've put together uh, for the collection of the samples. Um, for the, the, um, the viable air sampling that we're doing, we get, we're doing eight locations in, in the clean room, including six in the main clean room, one in the gowning room, and one in the transfer room. I'll take a, um, a sample plate with a sample medium on it, and this is for the bacterial counts. Place the plate down onto the impactor base. Remove the lid covering the sample medium. So now the auger plate is in the housing. I put the little hold downs on it. And it just freely draws the air into the plate, onto the plate. I set a calibrated um, timer and basically once I start the pump start the timer and we start our 10 minute sample collection time and as you can see the there's little bumps on the plate that tells me that the pump and impactor did its job that it drew air through all those microscopic holes providing an equal distributed amount of air over the plate and you can actually visually see that on the sample plate.